all right hey YouTube I am back with another video and I'm gonna go ahead and get into this um, straight to the point it is crazy how Americans uh, the quote-unquote patriotic Americans and we know who they are and they always you know talking about oh Mexicans are criminals and rapists and all of this and um, those Muslims and they're terrorists and um, they're talking about um, people from India they're just you know they, they're xenophobic they're xenophobic and I have some interesting information I'm gonna go ahead and hit the points on that they're talking about um, shithole countries and this and that and I want to go ahead and go over a few things because if these countries were smart and and I know it would probably hurt America which us is I'm American it would hurt me more but if these countries said you know what all right so I'm a shithole country all right keep your American people out of my country I guess our phones won't be as cheap as they are. They'll be a lot more expensive. The resources and stuff that they were getting from Africa will be more expensive. If every time they want to go around trying to kill people, calling them terrorists and everything, if 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 the Middle East said, you know what, if that's how you're going to treat my people, no more oil for you. No more. Get your people and go. If every time someone called... Um, said something to um, any person of Latino descent um, and said, you know what? I'm so tired of you speaking a different language um, in my country and I'm tired of Mexicans and this and that. Okay, don't worry about any more agriculture going into America. All right. And if they did that, if all these countries said, you know what? If this is how you're going to treat my people, you cannot come into my country and take my resources and then go and talk about me um we'd probably be a third world country because we don't do nothing in america so i'm gonna go over all these things that we get from different countries um that are supposed to be breed america so we can start with something as simple as christmas decorations um, we talk about, um, or they talk about how Christian they are. I am, I'm a Christian, but I mean, apparently we don't believe in the same God because their God allowed for them to rape and pillage different people. And it's not just black people because they did that to the Native Americans. They did it in Australia, which they, Australia was a black, um, country. They did it, um, in Latin America, um, because before they came to the U.S., they went over and took over other countries. So we're going to talk about how they're so Christian and they have all this Christmas decorations. But it is manufactured. They have 600 manufacturers or factories um, in, in Yiwu. And that's in China. So you talk about immigrants and your Christmas decorations aren't American? You talk about the flag and how the flag is so doggone important and 60% of the flags are made in China. <laughs> you talk about you love your baseball and at one point we couldn't even play baseball. We had to have a Negro League, but it's made in Costa Rica and Tariba, if I'm saying it right in Costa Rica. So you talk about the Latinos, Latinets, however you want to say it. You talk about them and your baseball is not even doggone made in this country. All right. So you talk about your F-150s, your American made and this partly made in Mexico. Not even that, but we got the Wrangler, the Jeep Cherokee, those are made in other countries so 30 percent of this parts made it are made in other countries let's not talk about the 
Humvee and the Hummer, which are supposed to breed uh, red, white, and blue, but they're manufactured in India. Don't talk about another Indian person. And we had a white guy that actually killed two Indians thinking they were Middle East, low IQ. But you talk about that and you can even get a doggone car made in America, okay? Um, Barbie dolls. Um, you know, we talk about how people talk about how ugly the black Barbies are. Well, can you get a Barbie that's not made in Hong Kong and Mexico? And let's not forget how you didn't like the Japanese and you had internment camps. But from 1960 to 1970, Japanese made your dog on Barbies. Uh, Levi jeans. They're made in Latin America, Asia, and, ha and Haiti. They only have one brand that's made in the U.S., only one brand because of its fabric. Um, but their Levi jeans are not even American. Um, Monopoly pieces are made in Ireland. And uh, Fender uh, Stratocaster, that's one of those uh, American guitars. Um, Jimi Hendrix had one. They have some you can get made in America, but of course many businesses are trying to save money so it's manufactured in mexico you know that same country where you said just shoot them that same country where you have pedophiles deal with their children and mistreat them that same country where you call them rapists and criminals yeah that country um we have the olympic uniforms made in indonesia converse made in china and india those Ralph Lauren shirts, the one with the little polo. Okay, so these are businesses that are made in other countries, not in the U.S. Um, but let's not stop there. Let's 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 keep going. Let's talk about um, countries that are supplying oil. So, like I said, the largest sources of imports is Canada, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, Mexico, and Colombia, and that has increased by 28%. So 63% um, of all of the oil that's in the U.S. are through those other countries, okay? Now, Japan and China. A lot of imports are from Japan, China, Mexico, Canada. Now, you said, let's start with Mexico, since all Mexicans are, are supposedly criminals and rapists and stuff. You know, I just wish for once Mexico just said, enough is enough. Get your own agriculture. Because we got vegetables, fruit, wine, beer, snack food, accounting for 75% of the total U.S. agricultural imports. And that's Mexico. That's Mexico. Fruit, veggies, wine, beer, and snacks. So when they're not getting their beer from Belgium, they're getting it from Mexico. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. The the, the ones who are just rapists and, and criminals, the ones who you need to shoot at the border and all they want to do is come and take over your country, that country right there, okay. So when you don't have China and Japan making your stuff, and manufacturers in India, okay, all right, that's what you're doing. You're treating Mexicans like that. Now, let's talk about Africa, since Africans are shithole countries, right? Let's talk about how um, U.S. goods exports um, in 2017 were $14.1 billion. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Ethiopia is Ethiopia is 173 million, Angola is 810 million, Ghana is 886 million, 5 billion is South Africa, Nigeria is 2.2 billion. And those are the top 5 US export markets in the sub-Saharan African countries. Let's talk about that. Now, those are exports. Let's talk about imports. In 2017, $24.9 billion. And um, 2017, let's see, imports in sub-Saharan African countries account for 1.3% 
of overall U.S. imports in 2017. So when you're not stealing their riches from them and giving them craps so they can't, so the people there are poor so you can take all their stuff. Okay. All right. All right. And let's not mention, um, you know, when you talk about the LBGTQ community, but you're wearing all the clothes from those who are part of the LBGTQ community community so they make all these clothes you wearing their clothes but you calling them names you know we got all these people talking about we're american raid we built this country shut the hell up because you don't do anything in this country you send everything everywhere else and then you talk about the people you guys are the biggest bullies you know what bullies are bullies are those people who um they got all this stuff going on with them. They look in the mirror. They're like that guy from Everybody Hates Chris, that white boy with the red hair. He's fat. He's ugly. But he's so busy picking on Chris to make himself feel better. But at the end of the day, he's still fat and ugly. And it's supposed to make him feel better. So Americans do really good at being bullies because they know deep down they have no culture. All of their stuff is made from other countries. They hate Mexicans, but they eat the doggone food that comes from Mexico. They hate Africans, but all of the resources come from them. They talk about immigrants, but they can't even get their flags made here. But they get it made in China. Like, I just don't understand how and this is not this is as a culture this has nothing to do with people on the individual level because everyone is not the same but when you have documented history of uh, people are talking about what it's like to be an american and to be patriotic we know what they really mean and it's just crazy how you can talk about another country when you would be nothing without them you would be nothing without um stealing you can't even name your schools and name um mascots without it probably being a native american name you can't even steal riches and stuff from people without taking their people um and helping them build your community you can't have a car made without help from another country, but you talk about that country. You know, you are the lowest of the lowest. You are, you can't do for yourself. You can't put on your own boot. If you have boots and you got straps with those boots, damn, I bet China made them. Did China make your boots? Did India make your straps? Did the Mexicans tie them for you? I just think that, and you say, oh, she is so angry. I am angry and I have the right to be angry because every time I turn around and someone's talking about someone speaking another language and disrespecting them and they bring in half of the, more than half of the agriculture to this country, when you talk about other countries and you're stealing riches from them, when you talk about immigrants and the stuff that they're manufacturing for you, how dare you? And it seems like your anger is not at these people. You have misplaced anger. You need therapy because your anger is with your own people. It is. It's with your own people because these businesses are going elsewhere. 